number of years now, but uh, a few Christmases before my dad passed away, I sat down and asked him uh, to write down some uh, early uh, memories of Christmas when he was a child. And uh, he asked me, he said, well, <clears throat> he said, I don't, I don't know what it would be. And uh, I said, well, just write down memories of, you know, Grandma and Grandpa growing up. And maybe, I said, maybe write down uh, the first toy you ever remember receiving. So he wrote down these words. And I've read, read this many times uh, to family and friends throughout the years. And uh, it always puts things in perspective. I called it Papa's Christmas. My first toy was when we drew names in school. A girl named Wilma Myers got my name. She got me a little red stock truck with a green cattle rack. That meant the world to me. I surely treasured that toy. We never had much Christmas at home. There was four kids and I was the third oldest. Mom and Dad always made sure we had a few treats. Mom always gave us all a brown paper bag and on Christmas Eve she divided all the candy apples and tangerines to where we all had the same amount. No one got more than the other. She always tried to see that we had food on the table. It wasn't much sometimes. She used to bake a cake from scratch. She usually put cake dye in the dough to give it different colored layers. She always put coconut and bananas on it. And she always made egg custard or sugar pies. They were very good. We usually got clothes for Christmas if Mom and Dad could afford them. It was the Depression and times were very hard. Daddy couldn't buy a job. He hunted for food. We ate the meat and he sold the fur so he could buy us a little something for Christmas. There was very little to catch because everybody was in the same boat. Everyone hunted fur-bearing animals. There were very few deer or turkey where we lived because everybody ate what they caught. I remember my father and uncles hunting rabbits in the snow and believe me, back then, when it snowed, it came a good one and would stay on all winter. They sold the rabbits for a nickel apiece, and the money they made bought us salt, flour, lard, beans, and potatoes, stuff we needed to survive. We always went to the woods to cut our Christmas tree from a pine grove. We made our Christmas ornaments out of paper we colored and cut tinsel out of cigarette packs that we found. Sometimes my dad would make us a sled at Christmas. We always had fun sliding down the hills. We couldn't guide the sled and sometimes we'd hit a tree and all have a good laugh. We'd pull the sled back up the hill and try again. Right before dark on Christmas Eve, sometimes we'd hitch up the mares to our buggy and ride the backwood trails. Even though times were very hard back then, I always looked forward to Christmas. We always found a way to have fun.